assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon to you all i am zainab imran today i am going to teach you about fractions that is proper fractions improper fractions equivalent and mixed numbers before i start my lesson i want to share the learning outcomes of my lesson in this lesson you will learn how to identify and convert between various forms of fractions that is proper fractions improper fractions equivalent fractions and mixed numbers so let's do a recap of the topic fractions as you all know i think so that what are fractions fractions actually a number that describes a part of a whole or part of a set let me write here for example 2 by 3 The number two is the top number of a fraction that tells us how many parts of the whole or set you have, and the denominator number, that is bottom number of a fraction, tells us how many parts there are in a whole or a set. For example, look at this diagram. How many total parts are there? Three. So three parts out of three, how many you have? Two. So two by three means. Like you have two parts and out of three you have two parts. So numerator, this number two means top number numerator and the down number denominator. Can you tell me, give the examples of the real life uh, shapes with fractions? Yes. Like if you want to meet your friend at half past four, you use fractions to determine the time. If you are baking again, you have to check the oven four times in an hour. You use fractions to determine how often you should check. For example, look at this shape. If you have one slice of pizza, so what does it mean? It means you have one sixth of the pizza. Look at the second shape. If you have one slice of watermelon, so how many slices do you have? One by four. But why it's four? Because total pieces are four. Look at the uh, uh, last uh, shape. How many pieces? If you have two pieces, so two out of how many pieces? Eight. Why it's eight? Because eight are the total number of pieces. Now I am going to explain you what are proper fractions. When the numerator or the top number is smaller than the denominator or bottom number, the fraction is called a proper fraction. You can see this example like three is smaller than five, six is also smaller than eight. So these fractions are called proper fractions, and you can write it as like n is less than b means numerator is less than denominator. Now what are improper fractions? When the numerator or top number is greater than the denominator or equals to one is called improper fractions. For example, you can see in this here nine over four. So nine is greater than four. Thirteen over five. Thirteen is greater than five. It means these are improper fractions. And here you are going to keep this uh, thing in your mind that when numerator is greater than denominator, that is called improper fractions. Next is the what are mixed fractions? Mixed fractions mean a whole number and the fractional part together is called mixed numbers. For example, if I write four whole number, two by three, so this is a mixed number. Why this is called a mixed number? Because it contains whole number like four and the fraction part as well, two by three. So that's why it's called a mixed fraction. So mixed fractions as a has a whole number and a fraction part. Let's take a look at a few more examples like proper fractions: five by eight, seven by ten. Why these are called proper fractions? Because here numerator is less than denominator, and yes, five is less than eight. That's why it's called a proper fraction. Improper fractions: why it's called a improper fraction? Twelve over three and nine by nine, because here numerator is greater than denominator. Now next is the mixed numbers. You can see here eight whole number three by five, eight whole number, and there it's a whole number and a fraction part as well. That's why it's called a mixed number. Three whole number seventeen over twentieth. This is also called mixed number because it contains whole number and a fraction part as well. 
Next time I'm going to teach you how to convert mixed numbers into improper fractions. To express a mixed number as an improper fraction, first multiply whole number with the denominator and then add the numerator. Then write this sum over the denominator. Look at the example on the next slide. Like example is 4 whole number, 2 by 3, it's a mixed number. As I told that mixed number contains whole number and the fraction part. Now how you are going to convert this into improper fraction? So I told that you are going to multiply whole number with the denominator. That is 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2. 12 plus 2 is 14. So 14 by 3. So this is how you can convert mixed number into improper fractions. So you have to keep it in mind whole number multiply denominator plus numerator. This is how you can convert mixed number into improper fractions. Now I am going to teach you how to convert improper fractions into mixed numbers. If you have an improper fraction, you can divide the denominator into the numerator. The question becomes the whole number part of the mixed number. The remainder is the numerator of the fraction. The divisor is the denominator of the fraction. Using this concept, can we convert improper fractions into mixed numbers and vice versa? Yes. I am going to teach you how to convert improper fractions into mixed numbers. So improper fraction 13 over 5 is an improper fraction. So you will divide numerator with denominator 13 by 5, 5 twos are 10, then you subtract it will be 3 is the remainder. So this 2 is your whole number, this is your whole number. So 2 is the whole number and this 3 remainder is the numerator and denominator keep the denominator same. This is how you can convert mixed number in um, improper fractions into mixed numbers. Now can you tell me how to express the mixed number as an improper fraction? So I told you that you have to multiply whole number with the denominator that is 5 times 9 is 45 plus 8 is 53. So you will write 53 and denominator will remain the same. So 53 by 9. Now what are equivalent fractions? Equivalent fractions actually have the same value. Even though they may look different, these fractions are really the same. If I have a fraction, for example, 1 over 2 or half, and second is 2 by 4, and third fraction is, for example, 6 by 12 or 6 12. So, can you find equivalent fraction? How can I get this 2 from 1? Of course, if you multiply 1 with 2, you will get 2. 1 times 2 is 2. So, you are going to multiply the denominator as well. So, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 by 4. So, if you are multiplying any number with the numerator, same number you are going to multiply with the denominator. So here in this case, you multiply 2 in, uh, by numerator. So same number you have multiplied with the denominator. So I get 2 by 4. Now how can I get 6 from 2? Of course 2 times 3 is 6. So you will multiply in the denominator also by 3. So 4 times 3 is 6, 12. So these are the equivalent fraction. 1 by 2 is equal to 2 by 4 and 2 by 4 is equal to 6 by 2, 12. So if change the denominator using multiply or divide and do the same operation to the numerator to get to an equivalent fraction. Here are some more equivalent fractions this time by dividing. For example, if I have a fraction 18 by 36, and the second fraction is 6 by 12 and the third, is, third one is 1 by 2 or half. So how can I get 6 from 18? So of course if you divide 18 with 3 you will get 6 and same you are going to divide with the denominator. So this thing you have to keep it in mind if you are dividing or multiplying any number with a numerator same number you are going to multiply divide with the denominator. So I get 6 by 12. 
again how can i get 1 from 6 of course if you divide 6 with 6 you will get 1 and same you are going to divide with the denominator divided by 6 so these are all three fractions are equivalent like 18 over 36 equals to 6 by 12 equals to 1 by 2 so this is how you can uh, find the equivalent fractions i hope you like my video thank you so much